Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to do something a little bit different with this antenna. We're not going to use it as a V-side antenna. We're going to use it as a TV antenna. And uh, we're going to do something else really cool with it. This antenna is a prime focus antenna. So where it's pointed is where the satellite is. And we're going to be aiming up right up there, very low in the sky to pick up a transatlantic satellite that is also relaying TV to Africa, the Middle East, and Europe, besides North and South America. So this is going to be kind of cool. Okay, I'll show you in a second. Okay, as you can see, I'm at the same vantage point as the antenna. And uh, there's the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over the iPad so we can get an idea of the lowest satellite and I'm going for Hispasat which is 30 degrees west we might be able to get a little bit lower down to 27 and possibly 24 but that's getting into those trees so that's going to be a problem okay guys Okay, so what I'm looking at here is Linksat. It has uh, been around for years, this site. Great site for satellite uh, info. Unfortunately, it's gotten really spammed up lately. Look at all this crap popping up. But uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to be looking at 30 degrees west, the Hispasat. Uh, there's actually two satellites that are co-located together. Uh, they kind of share the load, the, the payload. So what we need is I need a good transponder, something like this, 11884. Um, yeah, that's a pretty big MUX with a symbol rate of 27500. Um, let's see what else do they got on here. Let's go over and look at the other uh, the other. We call it a bird, actually. So let's look at the other bird. Go down. OK, this is a good one, too, with 30,000. Uh, that's like that's a full transponder. That's going to have an easy signal to uh, pick up and acquire So we're going to use that the 12092 Horizontal with 30,000 simple rate. Okay, we're going to put that into the controller and get the antenna to find it Okay, so here we go guys. I've added his 30 degrees west and we are going to find that satellite so there she goes and uh there's the video of the antenna doing the search right now for his facade Here's the video of the antenna doing its search right now for Hispasat at 30 degrees west longitude. Hmm, looks like it found it. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, looks like we got it. Let's go in and check. And voila! So what I've got here is actually a coax and ethernet connection into the house. So and it's watertight, so you can close that. And uh, those cables are coming over here and uh, Ethernet and the coax, the satellite signal, is coming right off of there from right up there somewhere. That's our satellite. So guys, in my kitchen next to the coffee pot is a spectrum analyzer. And this is not just any spectrum analyzer. This is a Tektronix spectrum analyzer. This is actually, uh, 
It's an 11, or sorry, a 1705. And it's a very old school spectrum analyzer, but I love it because uh, when I was in college, this, this, these are the spectrum analyzers that we actually use. And uh, I just love it. It's got a very fast response on it because it's analog. It's a CRT display, but uh, it real, really kicks ass and I just love it. And it's showing us there, those humps are all transponders and that's coming off the antenna off of HISPA SAT. 30 so we're about to use this receiver here the satellite receiver this is a gt media and uh we're gonna scan that satellite and we're gonna see what international programming is up there that we can look at and uh there's my uh kitty cat from thailand his name is mango <laughs> okay so here we go Okay, so I set up his satellite's parameters, his Passat 30 and the LMB 10750 because it's KU band. We're just going to do single polarity because it's single polarity LNB. And we are going to do scan. And then we are going to do single satellite and we are going to start the scan. And there it goes see what we get any TV programming <clears throat> okay we found the transponder that's a good start there we go whoa Cuba vision wow I always wanted Cuba vision look, look at that wow Libya Sudan Wow. Oman. Saudi Arabia too. Wow. Saudi Koran. We also got a bunch of radio channels over here, but not really interested in listening. But you can see down here the transponders it's finding as it scans. Let's see what else there is. Well, more is coming up. More Cuba Vision. Wow, look at that. Just keeps going. Seem to see some duplication here in channels. Okay, found uh, 70 TV channels. That is cool. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look. Let me get my remote here. <clears throat> Hold on a sec and push okay and there we go cube vision cube vision for the kids it's sports channels ooh master edu cavacio whatever <laughs> i'm not really good at spanish so there you go guys multivision What's ACM? Let's get test bar SM TV streaming on Rumble and Vivo TV. Supreme Master. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the Vatican. That's actually pretty cool. Live feed from the Vatican. Promo. Let's see what else is here. DW. Oh, Palestinian. Okay, they got their own, oh man, yep, that's a, a man, Saudi TV, oh, this is uh, Mecca, that's actually pretty cool, 
Look at all those people, wow. Oh, wow. Now you know you're in the Middle East. It's probably time to pray. Libya. This is Saudi. More Cuba vision. <clears throat> Okay, guys, so there you go. Now we're going to try to look for an even lower satellite, but there it is, picking up all of that cool stuff, including the Vatican and Mecca. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys, I brought the uh, trusty spectrum analyzer out here, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I did a sweep for some other satellites more to the left at 27 degrees and uh, fortunately didn't see anything. Uh, I'm getting a bit of a weird effect, strobe scope effect there on the uh, spectrum analyzer. But uh, what I can show you is the rotation. By rotating the LNB here 90 degrees, we are changing the polarity. And I'm doing this manually, even this is an auto acquire system, it is not on right now. And I can manually uh, change the elevation here and also the azimuth down there and just rotate the skew. So you will see here when I rotate this uh, horizontally to the vertical polarity and there's the vertical transponders. And if I rotate it back the other way, 90 degrees, we have the horizontal transponders. So there you go. Now I did try rotating the antenna a little bit to the left and the right and uh, there was nothing else to be found. So those satellites up there over the Atlantic are really designed more for Europe. The transatlantic, the only reason I'm able to pick these ones up here um, is because the satellites are actually sending a signal down here. Uh, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. So we did the 90 degree skew rotation from horizontal to vertical and we scanned again and now we got 81 channels so looks like uh we got a little bit more to look at uh, a bit more cuba vision look at that they got wrappers in cuba <laughs> wow cuba's come a long way so let's see what else we got on here more educational stuff we already seen some of these channels Infant, I guess that's for babies in Cuba. Carib, the Kalev channel. Well, there's Cuba Vision. Actually, looks like a pretty, uh, pretty nice place. Let's keep going. Let's see what other channels. More Cuban. Wow, this is like the Cuban satellite Hispasat, which I believe it's owned by Spain. This satellite. But uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, no signal. Okay, see those ones we're not getting anymore because they were on the horizontal polarity. And uh, that's why they're gone. Let's see what else. DW. Remember Palestine. Okay, we lost all of those channels. But we should have some new ones. Now this one here, I don't think we had that one before. Uh, okay, it looks like uh, those are the new channels. We can do this and we can get a better idea of the latest channels. Anyways, so there you go, guys. Let's go watch some Cuba Vision. <laughs> okay, so there you go. And there's our spectrum coming off of Hispasat, 30 degrees west. Have a good one, guys.